I'm going to start installing the Raspberry Pi operating system on a clean micro SD card. I'm using the Lite OS, and I'll hit Control Shift X in the Raspberry Pi Imager program. This brings up advanced options, which will let me enter a username, password, and Wi Fi information so that I will be able to log into the Pi remotely and complete the setup of BitFocus Companion without having to attach a display or keyboard to the Pi. Once the card is done burning, I'm going to insert the micro SD card into the Pi and power it on. If you have a display plugged in, you'll see a whole bunch of updates and several restarts. But ultimately, when that's done, you'll be able to log into the Pi via SSH using the username, password, and host name that you entered in those advanced settings. Um, you can check your IP address by entering hostname dash capital I, uh, and that IP address will be useful later for logging in. And then we're just going to follow the instructions on the BitFocus Companion instructions or doc page uh, called manual install on Raspberry Pi. There's a number of different command line steps. Some of them take uh, seconds, some of them take a number of minutes. Um, in total, it took about 30 minutes um, for this installation to run on a Raspberry Pi 4. So we'll just continue to copy and paste in instructions following uh, from the top in the docs. Uh, there's a couple of things where we need to copy text using a text editor uh, like Nano, um, but all of that should work exactly as indicated in the instructions. Um, there is going to be a place where we will need to click to another page uh, in the instructions, um, and that's going to be a set of instructions on how to auto start Companion using the systemd daemon so that whenever we start uh, or restart the Pi, um, Companion is running. And so if we click that link to where it says follow the instructions here to create a service which will start Companion automatically at system boot, um, we'll get the final set of instructions that we'll need. I'm going to skip everything under adding a desktop interface because um, I'm not going to install a desktop interface here. So I'm now uh, in that um, systemd setup instructions. I'm going to uh, follow the unit file instruction and you'll note the penultimate step is to run sudo reboot. When I do that, SSH is going to get disconnected. Um, if you have a display plugged into the Pi, uh, you can follow along with the reboot or you can just wait a few minutes. Um, you should be able to then log in uh, again using SSH. There's one final command line uh, command to add. And uh, once we run that, we should be able to access companion via browser at point 8,000.